Okay, all right guys, the last thing that we're doing today here in this 2011 Mini Cooper S is replacing the cabin filter. And what you gonna need to do is you need to get down here under the passenger glow box. Well, most of the cars have passenger glow boxes and you need to get a hook tool here between this plastic. So you push the plastic out and you pull the, um, the cover down and it's gonna have two of these and then you need to reach this one here and you're gonna need to pull that one out too so it's this clip right here that you need to pull out with the hook tool and as you can see this is the cabin filter inside it's sitting in a weird place so it's like a, it goes in like this and then it goes inside then it goes up this is the way it sits so make sure that you feel you fit it the same play the same way it came out it has the slot actually right there so you can pull it out the same way and this this is how it pulls out airflow is down because it's it's supposed to be down therefore because down means it goes inside the direction of the um, air conditioning there and again this is that slot is where it's supposed to sit so this is the old one I was just trying to show you it has some dirt it's not bad but it's about time to be replaced you see this is probably about maybe 10 to 15 thousand mile filter yeah um, so you need to replace these it's recommended to be replaced at 10,000 miles or every two oil changes again their flow is down and we need to get it in here and we need to start with the guide you see the guide all the way there so you're gonna have to do some crazy maneuvering here and i think it actually this let me see oh yeah it has a stopper there um it actually has a stopper this is the one i'm talking about here it's this one here so it needs to go in between these two slots so you're gonna have to guide this thing with your hand um, or you can try to guide it here um, from the beginning maybe easier okay the back is trying to slide out and you can once you guide it like this you can try to uh, pull it in in this case I'm just gonna pull it from the metal part of this and <clears throat> you can actually almost slide your, your hand all the way in but in this case yeah, as long as you push it in like this it should be okay okay yeah so make sure with your hand feel the ridges of the slots and try to see if you can do a visual inspection it's supposed to be here and actually i can almost put my hand all the way in there yeah i can actually re reach the top yeah this filter is all the way to the top and it's fitting perfectly this is the way it's supposed to fit this is the so yeah this is the way it's supposed to work back there all the way to the top is it's it's it has closed the gap you can put your hand and reach there and you can see it you see all the way up there okay this is it and that was pretty simple it's all the way down here that's it and possibly 
I saw in some cases they have screws right here in these two and this one here in the front right here and here and the one in the back but in this case we don't have the screws um, so I'm just gonna clip it all the way back and this is it and this thing is ready to go again cabin filter pollen filter replacement it should be done every 10,000 miles and this is a 2011 Mini Cooper S and that's it thanks very much for watching please like my videos and please subscribe thank you